Hello and welcome to this brief video to the slightly more advanced features within the Research Plus charting package. In previous videos I looked at a number of different tools and I looked at the basic functionality within the charting package. In this video I'm going to look at slightly more advanced functionality. Now uh, one of the ways that you can open the charting is by selecting the charting icon on the main menu bar and then select the chart like so. Alternatively what you can do is using one of the other tools you can link directly to the stock chart of your choice. So in this case I'm going to look at RBS, right click on the ticker, select charts and it should then open the RBS chart for me. Now the default chart is a six month daily line chart. Select the toolbar option to display the menus, change the chart type to candlestick chart there we have that and we can see that RBS has been quite a st in, a, in quite a steady uptrend over the past six months. We can change the time period like so, go to one year. We can also zoom in by selecting the zoom function. function. So let's select zoom by clicking on the dragging option and then left click, drag and drop like so and that zooms in as follows. Now in the previous video I talked about the drawing lines um, on a fairly sort of cursory basis. What I'm going to look at now is moving averages on the indicators and overlays tab. And moving averages are split into four types, exponential, simple, triangular and weighted. Most market participants use simple moving averages or standard moving averages as they're otherwise called. Now there are some default values in there. You can use your own custom values if you so choose, which is what I'm going to do. Select custom, select 21, select OK. So that's the 21 day moving average for RPS. I'm now going to add an indicator. And an indicator is split into two different types. Historic graph indicators are the most common types. I'm going to add a MACD with its default values, 12.26.9. You can change them if you want, but the market standard tends to be 12.26.9. And I'm also going to add an RSI. The RSI, the default value is 10.20. I'm going to make it 14.20 by selecting that. Now the 20 relates to the overbought and the oversold area. If you select the default which is 20, the default oversold and overbought areas will be 70%. Anything over 70% is overbought. Anything below 30 is oversold. Now typically I use 75-25. So the way that I would do that to, to display within an RSI is I would remove the 14-20 I will then go back to indicators and select RSI custom, select the period that I want to analyze it over. So I'm going to choose 12 in this case. What I'm going to do now is change the range to 25. So what that does is it basically adds and subtracts 25 basis points or percentage points above and below 50. So 50 plus 25 is 75, 50 minus 25 is 25. So now anything over 75% is overbought and anything under 25% is considered oversold. So that's a brief um, cursory look at the indicators and you can see the different types of indicators that you can use within Research Plus. To remove indicators it's very easy just remove all or uncheck them from the menu. Another nice feature within Research Plus is the annotations feature. And what this allows the user to do is to look at the effect regulatory news has on the share price. So if you click on regulatory news, select RNS, you can see here straight away that we've got different types of news items. So I'm going to select a results and trading report for RBS. And that should then pull up where the results and trading report for RBS um, came out next to the daily bar or candle of the share price. You can see right here, results and trading report, 12 pages. Click on the green circle and it gives you each page of the result and trading report. So, including appendixes. So, let's click on final results part one of six. It opens it up in a text box as a news item. You don't just have, to, and then once you've read it, you close it down. You can then remove that from the share price. We can also look at director deals and see how director deals have affected the share price and they're displayed as orange circles on each daily candlestick. So we can mouse over the daily candlestick there and the orange circle, 
click once and it basically gives you the details of the director or PDMR shareholding and whether or not it's affected at the share price. So that's the annotations feature. As you can see, it's quite a useful feature in the context of the news annotations. We also have Sharecast news items, which basically we use our in-house, that's our in-house news service and any articles related to that share price with respect to Sharecast news. And you can see there's quite a few news items on there and there's two on that particular day there. We're going to click it once. There you've got Labour unveils Post Office Bank and RBS sells German factory, factoring unit. So you can see the effect news has on share price movement. You also have the comparison section which allows you to overlay sector peers over the top of a share price. So if I wanted to overlay Lloyd's on top of RBS I could do so like so. And you can see that that's the blue line there. So that's a quick brief overview of the um, more advanced features within Research Plus. Hope you found that useful. If you've got any questions, please drop us a line at info at or leave a comment on our Facebook page. Thanks very much for listening.